Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Today's video is gonna be kind of fun because we're gonna go around the house and I'm gonna declutter a bunch of items with you and give examples of different things that you can declutter out of your house right now. And the reason I wanted to do this video was because it's actually twofold. Number one, I was going for a walk with my husband and our son and was wearing this tank top and I tried to clean it numerous times. I even brought it to my mom and had her try and clean it. It's really hard to see, but in the sunlight, there's this weird stain situation going on. And even though I've tried to clean it so many times, that stain is still there. And I was thinking to myself, why am I wearing this? Why do I still own this if it's stained? I have so many other tank tops. I just need to get rid of this. So I decided to declutter this tank top. And I was thinking there are probably so many other things in my house. I know there are other things in my house that I can get rid of. And then the second reason is just that kind of general feeling of overwhelm and everything kind of just feels like a little out of place. There's just a lot going on. And a great solution to that is doing just even the littlest bit of decluttering. So going around room by room and trying to get rid of a few different things, I think it's just gonna make me feel a whole lot better. So I'm hoping that this will inspire you to do some decluttering in your house and maybe give you some ideas of things that you haven't thought about that you might also have that you can probably get rid of. So this is item number one, and that is Anything that is stained, especially clothing, or ripped, or missing a button, or anything like that, get rid of it. We're staying in my closet here because I recently filmed another video where I wore this sweater and I was uncomfortable wearing it. And when I looked back at the video, I was constantly tugging at it. I do think it's a really cute sweater. It just doesn't fit me. So get rid of anything that doesn't fit you or it's uncomfortable on your body. Expired coupons. We keep our coupons here in our mudroom and I just went through them and have a bunch that are expired. Broken furniture. I don't know if you can tell, but the lamp behind me is actually leaning at a little bit of an angle. It was broken in our move here when we moved in September. I don't know why I ever decided to plug it in and keep it. We don't need it. I think it actually makes the room look worse having it in here. So I'm gonna get rid of it and hopefully get some nightstands and new lamps and just not worry about having that broken piece of furniture in our house anymore. Here I have an illuminating setting spray. And this is something that I wanted to like. I like the concept of having a makeup spray that's illuminating, but in reality, it just sprays out glitter. So I don't know why I keep holding on to this, hoping that it's gonna be what I want it to be, because it's not, it just sprays glitter, and I definitely don't want that on my face. I have another glittery makeup product. This is the Stila Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow, and it's just, so shimmery, it's really thick, it's a really dramatic look, and that's just not the makeup look I go for anymore. So I even brought it out to California for my mom's 60th birthday party that was 70s and disco themed, thinking maybe I'd use it for more of a costumey look. Brought it all the way out there, didn't even use it, and then I brought it all the way back. Still haven't used it, I'm really not going to, so this is something I can get rid of chargers that no longer work. So whether it is a cord or cable that's frayed or broken and just doesn't work, or it's something like this, like a charging pad that I am getting rid of because I can never get it to work properly. It takes so much moving around and fine tuning of my phone to get it to finally charge. And once it does, it charges super, super slowly. So I am going to get rid of this and stop wasting my time trying to get my phone to charge backup or backstock products if you decant like I do and you have some backstock items that don't have a lot in them and then the item that you pour it into has some room in it, dump it out and get rid of one more thing. So this is a Branch Basics Oxygen Boost. It is a stain remover and brightener, a laundry product, so there's not much left and I can dump it into my jar right now. Perfume samples. Now this one, I don't even like the scent of, so for that reason alone, it needs to leave my collection. But also, for some reason, I just end up getting so many of these. They are constantly freebies and different things. I feel like maybe my mom gives me some too. So since I can't use them up and I don't like the smell of it, goodbye. On the same note, get rid of any other sample products that you're not going to use. I'm actually really good about using up my sample and trial size products that I get for free, 
but there are some that I know I'm just never going to use. Maybe it's a, an ingredient that doesn't work well with my skin or a product that I don't use daily, like a certain serum or something. I'm not going to just put that into my beauty regimen just to use that product. So I am going to get rid of a sample that I'm never going to use sports equipment for sports that you no longer participate in. I grew up as a figure skater and I have all of these little accessories that go along with skating that I don't use anymore. Like these gel pads that were to protect my ankles in my skate. I have this cool device that spins and it was meant to practice different moves that I would do off ice and I, even if I go skating now, I'm not doing like off ice training like I was before. And if I have maybe a child in the future who wants to be a figure skater, I'm sure the technology will change far beyond this thing that whatever they're doing off ice is gonna be very different. So a lot of this stuff I can go through and declutter. So I also just found these two inhalers from my competitive figure skating days. And not only am I not skating competitively anymore, but I pulled one of these out and it expired in March of 2016. So make sure to declutter any of your expired medications. Serving dishes. So this is a cake stand that I actually got from the Target dollar spot so I don't feel as guilty getting rid of it. I don't use this just sitting out as decor like I sometimes do for some cake stands and I don't tend to take it out when we have an event or people over and I need a cake stand because I have a nicer one that I've upgraded to and it's actually the same color and I like it more so I gravitate towards that one and never end up using this one. So I think this one needs to go. This one's weird and specific to breastfeeding, but my pump came with parts that don't work for me. So I am going to get rid of them, even though I've held on to them for so long. I don't use them, I don't need them. So the general concept is when you have an item that you purchase that comes with something and you don't use it, get rid of it. So think of buying a new iPhone, for example, and it maybe comes with headphones that you don't use, or it comes with a charger every single time and you have a bunch of chargers get rid of it. You don't need to keep it just because it came with the product. Old hangers that you never use. So whether it is plastic ones like these or maybe ones from the dry cleaner, they can go for sure. But these ones we don't use anywhere around our house. We have some velvet ones in our coat closet and then a different type that are in our primary closet. So these ones don't match anything and they're sitting here in our basement, not getting used. These oil and vinegar bottles don't have tops. They broke when I moved and I have not been able to find tops that fit them. I've tried probably three times on Amazon ordering tops and none of them fit. So I kept returning them. And since I can't find tops that fit, I just need to get rid of them and stop keeping them in my pantry. Organizing products that you never use. This one's hard for me because I love to hold on to things just in case I switch a space around. Since we didn't move into this house that long ago, I do have some products still behind me that I'm keeping that are very generic and I can use for a bunch of different ideas and a bunch of different areas in the house. But one thing I am gonna get rid of, these giant things are meant for pots and pans and we don't have a large cabinet like I used to where I can use these and we are getting rollout cabinets installed. So I'm investing in a more long-term solution and then something like this, I held onto them and we've decided to get those rollouts put in and so now I can probably get rid of these tea that you don't like or use. This tea I got for morning sickness and nausea when I was pregnant and I don't think it helped with that and it is almost tasteless to me. It's organic ginger so I thought it would be good. It wasn't and since I don't drink it and it just sits there I'm gonna get rid of it. Unused knickknacks like this little coaster that I have. I only have one of them and I used to use it at work. I brought it home with me when we moved home never used it here, don't plan on it. So any little knickknacks like that around the house you can probably get rid of. Another one is decor that doesn't match your house. This was an office piece I also had at my office. It is gold. We don't have any gold in our house. We have mostly silver. So since it doesn't match, I'm going to get rid of this. 
packaging. I thought this Q-tip box might be really nice to do some organizing with and I kept it and I've never used it. If I'm going to do an organizing project where I need a little box like this, I'd probably rather invest in a nicer, higher quality organizer. And that's just for me personally. So if you're somebody that maybe holds on to like your iPhone box or something like that, just thinking that you might use it for something in the future to organize a drawer and you haven't, maybe get rid of it. Gadgets that don't work. I really like these flameless candles because they look so realistic. The flame wiggles. I think they are beautiful, but I have one that doesn't work and one that does work with the little remote. And I thought about keeping both of them, but I don't like the way that the two of them look together. And if I had a set of three, maybe I would keep them and just not turn them on. But then I thought about the fact that that's not the point of them. I want them to work. And so since one of them doesn't work, I'm going to get rid of the one that does not work. Seasonal decor items that you don't use anymore. Another Target dollar spot find. This one I did as a little DIY craft. It says lemonade on one side that I used for the summer and the other side I used my Cricut and added hand-picked farm fresh pumpkin. So I think it was actually quite creative to reuse the same piece of decor for multiple seasons so you don't have to store as much but it feels very small to me. It doesn't fit our new house as much. It's more of a farmhouse style and that's not my decor style. And it is currently summer and I'm not even using it. Sunglasses. We all probably have a pair or two that we could get rid of. These ones were inexpensive and they're scratched up. So I'm going to get rid of these. And I also have a bunch of supplies that I bought to try and make shoes more comfortable that didn't work out for me. A couple of gel pads and then I don't even know what this is. It's a Dr. Scholl's Dream Walk and it's some sort of tape that comes out. I don't know how to use it, but I know it didn't work out for me when I originally bought it vitamins that you no longer take anybody else guilty of starting a vitamin regimen and then not sticking with it or maybe your vitamin regimen changes and you're no longer taking something either way get rid of it broken garden supplies i was actually just going to put this out in the garden today and it fell apart and broke so this is another thing i'm going to declutter throw pillows that you no longer use this one has been stuffed in our ottoman that actually opens up it doesn't match our decor anymore and it has also seen better days it's fraying this is a fun one i just came across it is my school id and i didn't graduate school that long ago so it's not that unreasonable that i still have it it's from law school it says law student on it but i most definitely do not need this anymore receipts are a good one i have a few of them lying around the house which i usually don't but since i do time to toss them Food storage containers where you don't have a matching lid or the bottom two and you just have the lid. This one, I actually broke the top to it the other day, so I need to get rid of the bottom part of it. And another type of food storage container you can get rid of are your plastic ones that are just really old and dingy looking. The Rubbermaid Brilliance food storage containers I really do like, but for some reason this one has seen better days, so I'm going to toss it water bottles first of all i have too many and should get rid of some but this one specifically leaks and nobody wants a leaking water bottle i was going through my office and found a few things in here first one is office supplies that i don't use anymore these reinforcement labels like hole protectors i used to use when i was in school i don't really use three ring binders that much anymore except for my recipe binders but everything that is in a recipe binder is in a sheet protector so i don't need these i found a couple of home manuals that i can get rid of either i know how to use the product or i can find these online so i don't need to hold on to them anymore and then the other thing i found a bunch of papers so here i am getting rid of some medical information as well as some warranties the medical information is no longer relevant and the warranties are also no longer relevant old cookie sheets they do tend to get old and sometimes you just can't get all of the grime off of them and it in my opinion is worth the investment of getting a new one if you cook often this one i don't have a replacement for yet so i am going to hold on to it for just a little bit longer but i do want to get rid of it 
burnt out candles or diffusers. I have this diffuser that sits on my dresser and I just noticed that it's pretty much out so I need to get rid of it. If you have a candle that's already burnt out and just sitting there, get rid of it as well. And side note, if you have never smelled this diffuser, it is one of the best smells I think I've ever smelled. Kitchen gadgets that you don't use. We all probably have a few of those in our kitchen. For me, it is this miracle whisk. I have held on to it for a very long time and keep thinking it's gonna be a miracle product and I'm going to use it, yet I don't think I've ever actually used it. So I need to force myself to use it and see if I like it and if it is a miracle product. If not, it needs to go. Maybe I'll wait and hold on to it until this video goes live and let you guys comment if you've ever tried the miracle whisk if you think i should keep it or get rid of it regardless there are bound to be a kitchen gadget or two that you can get rid of in your kitchen old socks i'm sure you have a pair that you can get rid of as well these socks specifically are old but also they're running socks and sometimes the way running socks are made specifically these ones they collect all of the hairs that are on the floor of the house, all of the little fuzzy things. So they look even dirtier than they should because they just collect everything. So maybe I should keep them as a way to clean up the house a bit, but as a pair of socks to wear, they're gross and need to go. Hair accessories. I used to wear little hair clips like this quite often in college maybe. So it has been a little bit of time <laughs> since I've worn them and still have them. So that doesn't make any sense since I'm not wearing them and I am going to get rid of this and a few others probably. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you got some ideas of things that you can declutter. Maybe you were taking notes while you were watching the video. I hope that you were. Leave a comment below and let me know and I can do another one of these. There are so many more things I can think of in my house that I still should probably go through and declutter. If you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.